Hello everyone, this is the video of Pingala Academy. This is about the bit fields. And uh, this in this video we are going to discuss about what the various aspects of the bit fields are and what actually bit fields are all together. So uh, uh, what actually the bit field is that uh, bit field is a data type or we can say bit field is uh, uh, for the storage of a data inside a data type that means what this means that it allows packing of data inside the data type uh, so uh, until now we remember that if we say about a 32 bit computer then in 32 bit computer integer is 4 bytes it means what that if we consider a memory that is the ram on which the program executes if we say this is the memory then the lowest byte uh, the lowest byte that program can allocate is char and that is at least one byte uh, we say this is one byte which contains of eight bits so what bit field does is that it actually packs the small data suppose we need to store flags inside uh, the memory of the computer then storing flags will require only one bit not the complete byte so seven bits would be wasted let's suppose we are have we need to store we need so and right now we are discussing about the applications of bit fields so application is first is uh, let's suppose we need to store need to store flags in the ram as result of as a result of some calculation so flag flags value is either 0 or 1 and uh, we know that 1 in the binary form can be represented as 1 only 0 can be represented as 0 and so on uh, we if we need to disc uh, we actually know that to represent a number in the binary or uh, in the digital form in which the computer stores actually we just need to calculate how many binary digits that number composes of like if we say 2 so 2 can be represented as 1 0 because this is this corresponds to 0 bit this correspond to the first bit so it is 2 raised to power 0 2 raised to power 1 so it is 2 and so on as 4 can be represented as 1 0 0 because this is 2 raised to power 0 2 raised to power 1 2 raised to power 2 so if we are multiplying 2 2 raised to power 1 with 0 this gets 0 plus this gets 0 plus 2 raised to power 2 this is 4 so the result is 4 this is actually a different part uh, for that we actually need to understand how the binary numbers are represented in the computer but for the bit field if we want to store flags in the computer memory as a result of some calculations then we can actually use the bit fields like uh, if we say if we are having uh, like we say that uh, we have a structure that stores two variables uh, let's suppose we are having an unsigned int uint is uh, the short form actually this can be this is the type def which can be written as type def unsigned int and it can be written as uint so uint is represented let's suppose we need to validate width validated 
this is a flag which we need to store and again uint height validated these are the two flags let's suppose which uh, in some program intermediate result we want to store the values in them so if like this we if uh, suppose like this we are storing uh, the structure so the size of the structure at this point of time would be what uh, can you guess what's the size of the structure it would be 8 bytes for a 32 bit computer but if we actually place uh, if we actually do it using the bit fields if we write it as one here and write it as one here so in this case if we have uh, changed the variables to store the single bit only so the its size would be four bytes only because in uh, bit fields the size that is taken is the largest data type that is present largest data type that is present in the structure if we are considering about the structure and if that thing if all uh, the binary if all the if all the variables can be accommodated in that structure so uh, we are going to see that what uh, the other uh, categories of the size of can be there so thanks for watching this video uh, we'll tell you more about the bit fields in next coming videos thank you very much